In this short video, I'll give you an overview of the getting started use cases in the MCC Melody API reference for PIC16 and 18F. These use cases are designed to be able to be run on any of these devices which you happen to be using. There's a recommended starting point with the UART, Timer Zero, and Data Streamer libraries. Let's have a look at the ADCC PLib driver. So here, if we look at one of the use cases, you can see that this relies on the ADCC, the data streamer, and the timer. That's why it's recommended to start with the UART, timer, and data streamer components if you're new to MCC Melody. Note how for pins, one is referred to the board schematics to select an analog input pin or UART TX. You'll then see some code snippets, which can be copied into the project. The videos here cover the running of each of the use cases and will especially be useful if you are new to the MPLAB tools ecosystem. For PIC, many of the use cases will be run on a PIC 18F Q41 Curiosity Nano, but with minor modifications, for example selecting your own analog input, you should be able to run this on any board. The starting point for all the videos is an empty MCC Melody project for the board that you are using. After creating an empty project, we start MCC and select MCC Melody and finish from the MCC Content Manager wizard. And then this is the screen that you will typically see at the beginning of the video. So, have fun playing and building up applications based on a number of the different building blocks which we have now documented, which you can use to put together your application.